everybody, my name is Tyler Hayden. Welcome to teammover.com, your online source for helping you to take your team outside of the box. All right, so today we've got another uh, in our classic initiative series of a classic initiative events that you can use to help take your team outside of the box. Today's is the frustrated maze. Now this one, not all my team building colleagues agree with because they believe that every team building event should have a positive and happy outcome. I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, I believe that everybody should leave safely and happily um, at the end of the day and happy because they learned a ton of things about each other. Um, um, and not have any any increased friction with each other. Now this this event does create some friction. It will create some friction between you as the trainer and the group itself. But I think that managed correctly, if you if you if you debrief it properly and spend uh, an adequate amount of time uh, debriefing what the value of the frustration was, then this is a fantastic initiative for a team that is ready to grow in that way. So make sure that your team's ready to go. Um, emotionally, socially, that kind of thing. This is not probably the activity you want to do in your first go or run around with your team. You want to do this kind of or a little later into their development uh, where they know each other and you want to shake things up just a little bit. So let me show you on the whiteboard what I'm talking about. So this is the frustrated maze or the maze of frustration. And uh, basically what happens is you take some masking tape and uh, tape out on the floor just a, a grid. So, you know, four by four or four by five, whatever you like. And individual individual boxes. Now the team will all start on one end and the job of the team is one person at a time to go into the maze and find the path to get out of the maze just like this red line does. Now in order to be successful everybody in the team must go through the same path. Uh, if not everybody is successful going through that same path, the whole team must go back to the beginning and try again. Now what happens inside this maze is I build myself a little cheat card with a whole bunch of different routes and a whole bunch of uh, different ways to get through the maze, whether it be straight lines or like the red line there. And what happens is I switch it every now and again for really no reason at all um, other than just to create a sense of frustration in the team members. And what happens is as they become increasingly increasingly frustrated because it really doesn't make any logical sense as to why they go back. They get more frustrated, get more frustrated, get more frustrated. And I'll ask them, I said, so if you have to describe yourself as a, as a, as a weather system, how are you? are you? Sunny and cloudy? Is it kind of, uh, is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it a storm? Is it a sunny day? Where are you at? And they, and they let me know once they're all cloudy and a little bit stormy, that's usually when I call the event and I, and I say, okay, that's it. We're done. And I let them know that the, the purpose of the event, being successful in the event, is having that sense of frustration and how we deal with that frustration. And then I use this activity to spend some time talking about how we as a team work together when we go through frustrating times or negative times. So how is it that we're going to treat one another? How are we going to grow together? Uh, how are we going to support each other? How are we going to work as a collective in order to keep that uh, eventual outcome of uh, our project success or, or our goal? in mind. So this is a great activity for teams that are ready for it. Uh, the frustrated maze will bring out an absolute plethora of emotion for you uh, that you will need to process effectively. So listen, try the punk, the, uh, the frustrated maze. You'll absolutely love it. Um, as much as people will hate it along the way, they'll get it. I think at the end of the day, uh, how great an experience that totally can be. So hey, thank you very much. Look forward to talking to you soon. My name is Tyler Hayden, take care and bye for now.